Ready to make the final sacrifice to capture Ivan Shark, dauntless Captain Midnight throws himself into the hands of the master criminal. The Shark eludes capture, and Midnight's fate is sealed. Let me finish him. I said I finish him my way. Now get out of here, all of you. Now, I'll sign all of you. I'll follow immediately. The place goes up in three minutes. Come on, get out of here. Come on, hurry Take those two to the plane. We're flying them in. The rest of you into the car. Well? I'm going with you. You're going with the men to the Greer house. They're getting jittery. I need you to keep them in line. Now do as I say. Get in the car. He's safe enough. All right, now we can go. Things have changed a lot, Mr. Shark. Now we're taking you in. A lot of good it will do you. Who's that? Great suffering cats. That's Midnight Stooge just passed us. What's up? Get some speed out of this crate and we'll find out. Hello, Major Steele. This is Chuck Ramsey. Captain Midnight has captured Ivan Shark. He's flying him in. He wants you to get some men and meet him. Swell, Major. I'll meet you at the field. Bring plenty of men. Captain Midnight escaped. He captured the boss and is flying them in. He just phoned for a bunch of government men to meet them. do is get my father away. Get in. With millions of dollars behind you, you've been beaten by loyal Americans working not for wealth, but for love of country. Beautiful and patriotic, but very uninteresting to me. All right, Major, I'm through. Lock him up. There's no hurry, Captain. 
I feel sure he'll talk before he leaves here. You wouldn't bet on that, would you? No soap yet. I'm betting they get nothing out of him. Pardon me. There isn't any law in your constitution that says that a man can't have a drink of water when he's thirsty, is there? No, but I wish there were. Help yourself. Thanks. Everything's ready. It's a cinch. Only two men covering the entrance. All clear and back. All right, let him have it. Stop that infernal whispering. I can't stand it. I'll talk. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Get your witnesses in here. Unlock that door. Get Lieutenant Clark in here. I'll phone for stenographer. I thought you'd talk. He jumped right into their truck. It's a frame-up, and we let him get away with it. Not yet he hasn't. That truck will stand out like a sore thumb. Come on, Burns. A large truck came out of the alley. Which way did it go? That way, sir. Get to the car. Walter, you stay here. After, sir? Yeah, that's the one. Get on. All right, Governor, the car's waiting. Let's scram. Not yet. Our job is only half done. Now listen, this is what I want you to do. He's bound to be in on the deal. I'll take him in and question him and report to you in the morning. Right. Take the men with you. I'm going straight home. All right, get in. Alan, you go with Captain Albright. I'll drive myself. Yes, sir. bunch. Oh, it's all excitement. We haven't done anything. Don't stall. What have you done with Ivan Shark? Who? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I believe different. Now look, fella, you got us all wrong. We're just delivering a cargo of cigarettes. Oh, another cargo of cigarettes, huh? Take him to the car. Marcel, take the truck. Father, Major Steele's an old, old man. Well, then I'll be an old, old man, too. Plastic will take care of that. Watch me, I'll prove it. Yeah, you can have your coat back. Now, uh, let me warn you. Any attempt to use my papers will only lead to your capture. Let us worry about that. It's Borgman, dear. Open the door. Well, did you...
you get anything? Oh. <laughs> it's all right, Borgman. Your reaction is flattering. I really have to hand it to you, boss. This is everything he had on him. This is enough. Give them to Fury. Borgman, I want you and Martell to go with me just in case. Yes, sir. Father, you're a wonder. Thanks, my dear. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Major. Good morning, Good morning Lieutenant. Good morning, men. Any messages? Captain Albright phoned several times, sir, from the Edwards hideout. I'm to call him as soon as you arrive. Uh, don't bother. I have other plans. Come in, Lieutenant. Alan, take the board. Yes, sir. Uh, close the door and lock it. I must go on a secret mission. No one must learn of it. I trust you, Lieutenant. I understand, sir. I must fly to Washington with the Edwards rangefinder. Get it from the vault and hurry. Yes, sir. What's up, Lieutenant? Uh... Don't get excited, Dad. No one's trying to steal your invention. Of course not, Mr. Edwards. As soon as Major Steele arrives in his office, I'll go and get it for you. I want it at once. Right now. I don't trust anyone. Right now, I want it. I think he wants it. All right, Mr. Edwards, I'll phone again. Now, now, Dad. Hello. Yes, Captain, he's here. Hold the line. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, Major. This is Albright. Oh, hello, Captain Albright. I'm with Mr. Edwards, and he's worried about his invention. Wants me to bring it here. You'll have to stall him off. That invention mustn't leave this office. Impossible, Major. His reason's at stake. I'm coming right over for it. I'll be there in ten minutes. Will you have it ready? All right. I'll attend to it. I'll be back in a few minutes, Mr. Edwards, and I'll have your invention with me. I'll believe it when I see it. Please hurry. Of course. Well, where's the rangefinder? Sorry, sir. I've forgotten the new combination. You have... What? Of all the idiotic things, a trusted government employee forgets the combination. <laughs> Well, are you going to stand there staring at me? Do something. I was trying to say, sir, there's a copy of the new combination in your desk drawer. Oh, 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 yes, so there is. Well, hurry up and get it. Why, well, it's gone, sir. Well, perhaps I have it here. Here it is, right here, sir. I'll hurry up or I'll miss my plane. What's the matter with him? He never acted like that before. Government business. He's worried. Worried? Huh. Acts like a different man altogether. We're in the jam. Albright will run right into the chief. Don't worry. He'll be fooled like the rest of us. Anyway, I'll fix his car so we can't follow. Just in case. You took your time, didn't you? I had to, sir. The new combination. Oh, shut up and give it to me. Is Major Steele alone? Yes, Captain, but I better... Don't bother. He expects me. Well, what's the matter, Major? You look as if you'd seen a ghost. I, uh, you, you startled me. Uh, you can go, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Say, Major, I uh, think you owe me an explanation. Well, I've no time to talk now, Captain. I'm catching a plane for Washington. Surely you're not taking that model. I promised Mr. Edwards I'd return it. We have no time to consider the whim of a crazy old man. Get away from that door. I'll miss my plane. I'm uh, sure you will, Major. Are you crazy to unlock that door? Not a chance, Ivan Shark. So the ring tripped you again, huh? You took it off, but the mark's still there. Now I'll take that model. You better go in there, Lieutenant. They've locked the door. Well, break it open. Ah, break it open. He's crazy, isn't he? 
insane. Here, hang on to him. Don't let him go. Hang on to him. Said that man was Ivan Sharp. Impossible. Boss, I fixed Albright's car. He'll only follow for a few minutes. Good boy. He's gaining. Are you sure you fixed him? Certainly. It won't be long now. Take a look back, boss. You might see something. Have Joyce and her father finally escaped the clutches of Ivan Shark? Or is there something suspicious about the way Major Steele is acting? See it all unfold in the fatal hour, the final chapter of Captain Midnight.